Anti-government protests are again taking place in the Armenian capital Yerevan amid anger over Azerbaijan's defeat this week of ethnic Armenian separatists in the enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh. For a third day, opposition groups are calling for the resignation of the Prime Minister. The latest protests come after the two sides held peace talks yesterday. Our correspondent in the region, Rehan Dimitri, is following developments from Georgia. Well, so far, uh, it appears that the ceasefire is holding. Although earlier today, uh, we heard a statement from uh, Azerbaijan's uh, presidential advisor who said that Azerbaijan was preparing to offer an amnesty for Karabakh Armenian fighters who agree to lay down their arms. That announcement came according to Azerbaijan amidst reports that some military units, uh, Karabakh Armenian military units, uh, have refused to lay down their arms and they pledged to continue their resistance to um, Azerbaijani forces. The humanitarian situation is really critical and difficult in the regional capital, Stepanakert. Thousands of people who were displaced by this conflict since Azerbaijani forces took control of uh, some of those villages or close to the front line. So those people spend the night in schools, churches, very little food. Although today Azerbaijan says that it sent several trucks with humanitarian aid, mainly food supplies. And Rayan, every day this week we've seen these protests taking place in Yerevan. Some of them have got a little bit violent. We saw some stun grenades earlier in the week and definitely scuffles. There's a lot of anger there. Can you explain to us why there is that level of anger, what the protests are about? Well, the protests in Yerevan are mainly kind of uh, to, you know, people are really angry at the Prime Minister, Nikol Pashinyan, for handling this uh, crisis. They're demanding his resignation. They're demanding to open up a humanitarian corridor for Karabakh Armenians so that those who want to uh, flee uh, can, can come to Armenia. We, get, we were getting mixed messages, actually, from the Armenian authorities. So uh, yesterday, the Armenian prime minister said that uh, he didn't see any threat to the security of Karabakh Armenians. But uh, nevertheless, Armenia was prepared to receive up to 40,000 refugees. He said that places were already ready. Going back to the protests in Yerevan, that anger is also aimed at Russia. Uh, a lot of people in Armenia feel that Russia uh, had betrayed them, that Karabakh is lost. And uh, this is uh, an extremely painful issue for many Armenians because they consider it their historic homeland.